Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is feeling like nice, nice. So lunch. I hope there won't be any closing. I don't think I'll go away after that. Okay. Uh, my name is Kasiri Ata. I'm a WordPress developer. Um, I do search engine optimization. I do graphics designing. I do quite a number of things that I never studied at campus though. Uh, um, I'm here to take you through uh, multi sites. Now, I also own a startup. I don't call it a startup. I call myself a, free, a professional freelancer. You know? I don't own a startup, but this is Kasiri Lab here. Uh, uh, welcome to the second World Camp. Uh, I'm really, really happy to see you. I'm taking you through leveraging multi sites with WordPress. By me, Kasiri Atta. Um, I start with how, why, where to use WordPress multi site. Now, before answering everything of the hows, why, and where, I think you want uh, multi site is something new. It could be something new to some people because uh, most people just know only just WordPress. Multi website, what else? So multi-site, uh, multiple as it is, multi, is multiple then, <laughs> but uh, uh, it means many. Now with multi-site WordPress, this means that you can create one installation of uh, WordPress, a CMS that's used to create websites, to have quite a number of websites. Um, you remember I used to put on those shirts that had two in one. It had, uh, you could put it on from the front and then from the back you can also change. So this is some kind of way, if you understand that. Uh, a multi WordPress website is one website that has quite a number of websites in them. Um, Obviously, multiple websites are hosted in one web or one WordPress installation. That's what I was explaining. So what's the catch? All of these sites are under a single installation in, of WP. By WP, I mean WordPress. So we have the regular installations and the multi-sites. The regular installations are those installations that you're doing in, uh, you install uh, a WordPress um, uh, a WordPress, you make a WordPress installation, could either be on a local host, locally, or on a server, and then you run that as a single installation. But with multiple, you can still create domains or subdomains, uh, actually, they are subdomains in one installation. For example, you can have uh, a website, uh, I can give an example of a university that's, that's run in one website but it has uh, so many faculties. Now they don't want to mix up everything uh, on just one website because it could be too much. All they want is each faculty to have its own website. Imagine yourself if you're a webmaster at a certain university and the, web, uh, the university has like 30 uh, faculties and they want each to have its own website. How much time will it take you to go through all the, the web work and then updating all those such websites at once? It's quite hectic. But that can be solved under multi-site. One installation, many, many websites in there. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how it works. So WordPress multi-site. Multi-site is a network of sites. Singular installation for number of websites, singular installation of plugins, themes for all, multiple set of users, supervision. How it works? So this is how the multi-site works. You see, it's like a bacteria. <laughs> that has tentacles, although bacteria don't have tentacles. It's, what? Okay. Yeah, so uh, we're having one WordPress installation. And then that in that installation, you have 
uh, one uh, a client, and then here is another client, and then here you have the tech blog, the personal blog, profile, portfolio, my sports blog, and still another client. So as you can see, you can have quite a number of answers. So I make this one installation, and then I make a sub installation inside it, which has business.casuriolabs.com. I don't have a subdomain, but that subdomain is created by WordPress. And whoever logs on to business.casuriolabs sees a totally different website. And if I have a business journal or a blog or anything, it can really, really work out for you. One single installation and then quite a number of uh, a number of sites. So, I'm uh, asking ourselves, when can we do multi multi sites? Well, under these circumstances, you are eligible to have a multi site website. You have a number of sites running on WordPress. You are looking for an easy way to maintain your network of blogs. One to allow people to run their websites or blog on your installation. For example, I can give you just one. Uh, someone creates a website using WordPress.com and then after creating uh, your WordPress.com because it's not paid for, it becomes maybe I've created my, my website and it's Casario Labs with WordPress.com and uh, uh, it's on a free version. So under that free version, it can go, I can get a domain as casario.wordpress.com. That's a multi-site that WordPress is running. So you can save time from installing so many plugins, things over and over again. For example, there are so many plugins that you could use for the same work, yeah. same job. But under a multi-site, you can be saved, you can use one plugin to accommodate all these uh, these installations. Although this also has the pros and cons. About the cons, um, not every plugin works with multi-site. That's the challenge right now. But some of them, there are, there are others that do multi-site, but it's not all of them. So where can you uh, where can you apply your multi-site? Personal, I've been saying this, or multiple blogs or websites. Academic, different sites for focusing on different faculties courses or academia, organization, team or division, best information, a company, you're a web developer, uh, it's, a, it's a, a telecommunication company, and it needs a website. But they need you to develop the website for their uh, sister companies in, uh, in different countries. Uh, you can't develop one because uh, in this regional things, uh, uh, they specify content according to uh, uh, the people in a specific content to these these other countries that are near them. You can get that money, create one installation, and create a multi-site website. So each website, for example, I can say if uh, I own a, telecom a telecommunications company and it's called. Casiri and Sans Technology. My father warned me about that Sans thing. Yes, you get soon, they take all of you. So, uh, in case I have. <laughs> now you're here. So, um, and uh, I operate in Rwanda, I operate in UK, I operate in Tanzania. I have this multi-site website. I can create specific content according to that country. And uh, each content can be given an administrator to manage a, uh, uh, the website on a sub-level. Uh, and we have one network admin who can oversee everything. So, it's a bit easier for you to operate in groups. Hosting sites. Host different sites of clients under one roof, easier to maintain. Now, this can work in a certain way also. Uh, you may have clients, okay, maybe some people who need to just start around blogging, but you have your free domain, and you want people to use it to create 
content, just content. You can create um, uh, multi sites and you can let them open up WordPress websites under your domain. Um, just like you've been doing with the uh, uh, translations here. And each one of you can have their own blogs, I can say. But everything there is under multi site. So, just because you can do, doesn't mean you have to. Just because you've had and now you're a gig at multi site websites, doesn't mean that you go and create multi sites everywhere. Okay, why well, you shouldn't do multi sites? Different post type of the same niche. Uh, by this, uh, there are some other custom custom posts that may not be really working in multi sites, and there's quite a number of people. Okay, not quite a number of people, but some people who are really really good with custom posts, like my friend here. David. So uh, you can't go fixing these custom posts under these multi site websites because some of them may break the site, the network, and once the network is gone, my friend, everything is gone. All the sites that are under it are dead. Users need to install themes and plugins. Now, in a scenario where users want to install their themes and plugins, you shouldn't apply multi-site because it doesn't work. You just have to, uh, um, you just, it's only the client, or it's only the administrator who can upload and provide these things. Single website or blog. In case you're owning just a single website, why waste time in multi site? It's a lot of hard work for now. <laughs> so, who's using this? Well, some websites, that one WordPress multi sites, have Best Buy, can check them out. Best Buy.com, have WordPress.com, I told you about that. Powersites.net, New York Times, slash blogs. There are quite many. Did you know? This is like a bulb, actually. <laughs> New York Times has 60 plus blogs covering a wide range of topics. Now, this goes for the bloggers. And this, uh, I got these stats like two weeks back. I can't verify now, but this is 57 million. <laughs> 57. While creating this presentation, I also put that. So these are blogs. This has been the theoretic part of my design. You see, this topic is just just giving it. But we can just go through the practical and see how it works. Are we up for the challenge? Yep. On something like themes and plugins. Uh, in order to run WordPress. WordPress installation, we just need uh, to be having uh, a local server. I use ZAMP because it's simple, but it's ZAMP, WAMP, MAMP, many. So inside this ZAMP, there is, a, there is a folder under htdocs, which is going to be my website. I call it WordCamp. Um, Inside the folder that has one cam, there is a line of code that you need to apply for the multi site to work. So, guys, don't get scared. This is just, 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 just. Okay, you see this one multi site defining? Now, this one is not. There, it's in the WP config folder. So you have to enable it by enabling it. You just, yes, yes, okay. Um, and program and say it true, set it to true. Now I come and make my installation. And then I run the local host slash what come this only works if you set your database right which I have already done okay um so the site is up and running but because I you go to tools now you can see this feature is doesn't uh, isn't always there 
degrees dispatch, create a network of WordPress sites. Please complete the configuration steps to create a new network. You will need to empty or remove the network databases, enabling the network. Complete the following steps to enable the, for creating a network of sites. So they're giving us this code. Add the following code in the WP config of what come above the line, that's all. So we need to copy this code and paste it. We are pasting that code here. Create subdomain, subdomain install, what come, and all that. So after there, add the following to your HT access file. You're replacing the WordPress rules. So we need to copy this and go to our HT docs folder and look for the HT access, which is this one. I open it. One of my best editors. And I replace this code and save. So after that, we are done. So we need to log in again. Okay, we need my password. Then here down it was showing Luganda something. So that's proof that WordPress is also using uh, uh, multi-site websites. So here you're running a network of sites. You can check them out. My main website is WordCamp. I can say enter it. Enter it. Welcome. Add site. Now, under this, you can choose to create. A, you can choose to create either forward slash domains. Work with corporate companies that need different websites under one website. As long as you keep the best practices of working with, uh, with WordPress. That means best security. And uh, uh, as someone used, uh, was saying that, uh, they say WordPress is vulnerable to attacks, and then there's one guy, my buddy, said that, you know, whenever there are, there, are, there are so many people yearning for a product, so many people are still uh, out there, they want to see how its laws work out. So in case someone just gets a bug that's running on WordPress, it has control over 30% of the internet. That's why they keep targeting it, which makes it good. <coughs> so thank you, thank you so much. I'm around, and we have a WhatsApp group for WordPress. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>